Strap yourself in because we're set up, switched on, and ready to go. Listening to Chris and Lester Till I Die TV on YouTube and your favorite podcasts. And now, here's your host. All right, Chris. All right, junkies, welcome along. How the devil are we all? Uh, it is third semi, uh, third quarter final. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Third quarter final of the women's Euros. And number two in the world, Sweden. Well, they've got the uh, Belgians rocking up on the doorstep. This is Lester Till I Die TV. This is the Watch Along Show. Day Watch Along Show. Join in the chat and don't forget to subscribe. And it's live. You see, get a woman doing the voiceover and she repeats everything you say. I'd already said it was the Watch Along Show. Good evening. Please, if you haven't yet or uh, done so already, do what it says there. Give us a subscribe. Bless it till I die TV. Smash those likes. It really does help the old algorithms. And at my age, you need to look after your algorithms, I can tell you. They they, they start to hurt after a while. Um, and if you are looking for a, well, an England shirt, uh, a Premier League shirt, uh, uh, the odd, the odd, you know, the division below us, whatever that is, the odd one of them, or, or even a Barcelona or Real Madrid, 3retro.com, they are supporting us throughout this journey with the Women's Euros 2022, so please show them your support as well. Yeah, number three is 3retro.com. That's who you need to be uh, checking out for your replica shirts. And they do a lot of Admiral. And I've got to be honest with you, I do love the Admiral shirt. Nick Naxon, I love this name. Um, evening, Mr. Chris. Um, he's looking for Maisie. You may be a little bit disappointed tonight. <laughs> uh, Ravi says, uh, big up. Yeah, good evening, Ravi. Maisie is actually at the game. Uh, I'm sure we're doing a, a vlog once the game is over. Um, and they're basically saying hello to each other. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I, I don't mean this funny, but I saw the Swedish team coming out on the pitch to sort of have a warm up and what have you. And to say that most of them are blonde, it would be an understatement. 99% of them are blonde. There's one, there's one auburn haired girl in there thinking, What am I doing here? <laughs> have I come out of the right tunnel? But who needs a blonde when we've got our very own ginger? Yes, it's not Old Spice, although he's close. It's, it's Ginger Spice himself. Please welcome him in. Dan, good evening, sir. <laughs> How are we all? Hope everyone is well. Thanks again for having me, Chris. And uh, anyway, yeah. I'm not I'm not an Indian now, Ginger. I'm not going to say it's Strawberry Blonde. It's more Moroccan. <laughs> it's Moroccan Sunset. Well, at least, I mean, let's be honest, at least you would... Broken sunset. <laughs> <laughs> at least you get into the Netherlands team. Well, yeah, true. True, although it'd look a bit weird. I'd look like I've got the kit up to me, uh, 
to the bottom <laughs> of my chin. <laughs> yeah, bend over and I'll think you're a bowling ball. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming on as always. Um, not a problem. I can say that too. And please, your details are in the chat below on YouTube, but just give everybody a quick shout out as to where they can find you. Yes, yeah, so you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, um, all social media platforms. All you've got to do is search Turf Morehouse TV or Turf mm -hmm. Morehouse without the TV, and uh, you'll find us on all those platforms. So thank you. I, I actually just typed in Morehouse the other day and you came up. So oh, that's all right then. Happy days. <laughs> I didn't know you had your own estate agent. Um, <laughs> Nick Nack says, well, she's at the game. Good for her. Uh, yeah, we'll have to have yeah. a look out for her in, in, in the crowd, but the one with the, the front. I did, I did actually. She went to a fancy dress party last week and she sent me a picture of her. And I'm not showing it because obviously it is personal, but she went as Ginger Spice. And I'll tell you what, she pulls it off. She absolutely pulls it off. And I did say to her that she should use that outfit so that we can see her in the crowd. But um, I, wasn't, I missed what she said, but I think the second word was off. <laughs> <laughs> Just, 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 I'm sure that I'm sure that's what she said. Uh, anyway, let us start. By it's it wasn't good by my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably, probably. Let's say Mama it to her. Mia, that's a spicy meat board. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meat board. She's in. Yes, of course. You know who I'm referring to. Heathcliff's best friend, Charlotte, who's going <laughs> seven to Sweden. Which, Charlotte, I'm, I don't like you. You always pick the loser, and I want Sweden to win this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick Nat's sort of 10 years behind everybody else, but in fairness to him, it might be the first time he's seen you. I have to <laughs> say, though, I didn't know Adele had a ginger beard, but, you know, each to their own. <laughs> each to their own. <laughs> James, hello, sir. Well, I am well, and I believe Daniel is. I'll take here? it, though. I'll take he's, it. You're, you're, well, I've, I've heard. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> Hope you're well, James. You are with us for the first 45. Then you've got to, you know, dump us and leave us and, and go off and do your own thing. Um, substitution, that's all it is. I have got a substitution hopefully lined up. Uh, James said, hit the likes and subscribe. Uh, David, welcome in. How the devil are you? Rav is well, David. For one Swedish win as well. And um, Kate is in. Good evening, Kate. Oh, I get loves. There's an S on the end of that. Oh, I thought she was speaking Spanish. Hey, loves. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think you'll find that that's the plural of love, loves. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, Sweden versus Belgium. Um, it, it's going to be a bit one-sided, this one, isn't it? See, I was thinking that earlier on. I was thinking you'd look at this and think it's going to be an absolute Sweden rout. But, um, you know, Belgium, Belgium are going to give them a game. Uh, I think uh, similar to what we saw in the uh, England game, you know, it was a very hard battle. Uh, but I, th I think Belgium will make a good account of themselves. I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people are thinking. Mm -hmm. Although when I've said that, I, I, I'm usually very wrong. I had a ten. I had a ten of the other night on Beth Mead, so I had two shots on target, and she had no sniffer goal all evening. So I guess who's a ten of down? Hey, that's why you should never bet children. And remember, nah, if there you go. Betting, if you are betting when the fun stops, stop. Uh, and if Turf um, More else ever releases a um, a tipping a, a tips page, just yeah, I can understand yeah, if the follower lucky. counts low. Block it. Don't bother with it. <laughs> back, back the opposite. <laughs> of course, the winner of this faces the Lionesses. It does indeed. It does indeed at Bramall Lane on Tuesday. Um, should be mm. very, very interesting. Um, I'd rather take on Belgium if they do get past them, but then... Hope you well, Esme. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. She said, Daddy. <laughs> Hi, Esme. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ah, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. I'll give you that. <laughs> How to confuse a five-year-older. <laughs> Daddy will be home soon. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he's, uh, I, I just I would prefer to take on the Be- Belgium, but I do think that the Swedes will obviously come through this unscathed. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, looking at Group C, they, I mean, they were top of Group C. Um, yeah. They they struggled in the first game, but they were playing Netherlands, obviously, the, you know, the reigning champions. Um, mm-hmm. And they did struggle, in all honesty, against Switzerland. They did. They did. I think it. We said we said it. Well, I said I certainly said it the other day with Spain, where Spain seemed to have been a team that were getting stronger as the tournament went on. You know, they they weren't really. They weren't really saying anything, you know. Out, 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 uh, me, Ed's gone with that comment. Honestly, it really has. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> but yeah, but, but then, but then they faced Portugal. Yeah. In the last game, and that was the we actually did start off. I was with Craig, and we started off doing the um, watch along for Sweden Portugal. But I think like three nil at half time, Portugal couldn't have sort of fought the way out of a paper bag that day. And I kind of just say they were doing zonal marking at the back, but they made Leicester look good. And I mean, we were shit at it last <laughs> season. Every time it came in, they were, they, were, they were in the zone. Don't get me wrong, they were in the zone, but. There was no marking. Just ignoring every Swedish player <laughs> that was there. <laughs> it's like, like you know, there's, there's one Portuguese defender and two Swedes behind her totally you know, being ignored. So we switched, <laughs> we did switch over at half time for the Netherlands game, um, and then we've got Belgium, who came second in Group D, just edging out Iceland. Shame, Iceland. <laughs> yes, it still hurts. I still hold a grudge. <laughs> Belgium started off by only drawing 1 1 with Iceland. Um, they lost to France 2 1, uh, which is basically, to be honest with you, know, nothing to be disgraced about. And then Italy, well, Italy were all over them, absolutely all over them. And they came out at the start of the second half and just <laughs> scored a goal, and that was it. And so I can, you know, I'm, I'm might a little bit away see that happening. We can't. We could. It's you in that. It's an interesting proposition that we're at now because this is at a point where, in a group stage to begin with, you've got a chance of if you have one bad game, okay, we park it, but you've got to be on the ball in the next one. Right now, every game from this point forward, you have to be on the ball. You have to be at your yeah. best. If yeah. you're not, you're going home. Um, Belgium won't want that. Belgium will want to give a really good account of themselves. Um, I just hope that they're going to be a lot better than they have been. I think they're a, a team that needs to sort of up the ante a little bit, especially against the Swedes, who are very, very strong. Yeah, David still wanted to keep his wife happy and going for a Belgium win. Um, Nick Nack, uh, Belgium eight to one to qualify. On the bet fairy chain, there are other, there are other sites available, and like we say, wow. And I have to say this, otherwise I get you know we can as a channel get done. Um, there are other oh so when the fun stops, stop. There we go. I've said it. Massive odds. Well, <laughs> I've called him worse, but you know I'm sure Dan won't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about us both, it's plural. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice that. Let's hope we can make a game of it. Belgium 19th in FIFA's rankings, Sweden second to America, um, and the fact that uh, Tielemans is totally refusing to sign a new contract. Come on, Sweden! <laughs> not, like I say, it doesn't. I don't let these things get to me, but uh, but we're off. We are playing. We are um, underway. I am uh, just coming up to twenty seconds. Um. Right, I'm um, probably about a minute in front then. See, oh wow, you're on 120. 132 now. Wow, wow. And that's and that's the difference just between BBC One as a channel and BBC One as a channel on the Fire Stick. Yeah, it's. I don't understand why it's not sort of played at the same time. You'd you'd have thought so with the way. You know, the speed of internet is these days. It's... Yes. It's the same. I've got to be honest with you, though. It's the same with you if you're watching Sky Sports. And I watched Sky Sports on the telly, and it was still behind the actual game. It's, um, uh, oh, she's in. Troublemaker's in. Hello, Helen. Hey, <laughs> how are you doing? How's things? How's things? Oh, handball. Is that handball? That's got to be handball. Um, hi, chat. 
again another another nickname that you won't moan about. <laughs> <laughs> we could all press pause for a minute. To be honest with you, the the actual graphic in the middle is, is in advance of me anyway. As we say, the rules are just don't say anything in chat until either Dan or me have, have said something ourselves. Right, Chris, I've paused it on 2.37. Let me know oh. when it gets there. I will. Right, okay. We'll have a long wait. It's about a minute to wait. No I think problem. The closest, closest we ever get for natural TV is about 20 seconds, and those 20 seconds seem to last for ages. <laughs> yeah, someone's already <laughs> celebrated it, yeah. finished speaking about it, and already and on to that. The other end, you know. <laughs> right, 201, 202. What was I waiting for? 237. By God. Well, in fact, wait for 236 and then tell me, and then by the time <laughs> I press play, it's <laughs> come through. I was going to. Just hope nobody scores now. <laughs> <laughs> Two twenty-two, 22, 23, 24. It was 36, wasn't it? Good God. Yeah. I've grown a beard. 31, 32, 33. It's gone off. 34, 35, 36. <laughs> Just at that point, the bloody BBC override the clock yeah, with the pattern telling the, uh, uh, oh. See, I'm at 248 now. 248. Yeah, two, 250 is good. Yeah, uh, 250 yeah. now, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was, so now that we're in sync, good. at least. We're in sync. Yeah, Unless your sync. fire stick goes on a bit of a mad one, Yeah. then we should be all right now. Yeah. Charlotte, I mean, I, Charlotte gets the award here for stating the bloody obvious. <laughs> Watch it on the telly, then you won't be behind. <laughs> I never thought of that, Charlotte. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you for telling me that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These rich people. <laughs> she might be able to speak Italian, but you know. no. In, in Joking aside, Charlotte, when they built these flats, for some reason, in the second bedroom, which is now my studio, they decided not to put a... Um, a little um, mermaid in. Exactly, yeah. But they did in the kitchen, which is ridiculous because it's open plan into the lounge and you can see the TV. Oh, from so the you've lounge. got an aerial in the kitchen, but not in your in the Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I know. No. Um oh, James is a little bit behind us now. Helen's not bothering to watch it at all, so she's just following <laughs> us. Uh, and Charlotte's on four thirty, so she's about a minute ahead of us, she was oh. at the time. Um uh, so uh just remember, remember, Charlotte. Shh. Walls have ears. What they don't have is aerials. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Helen says, "I prefer your commentary with Dan." <laughs> yeah, I'll oh, take that. Dave, David's rebooted. He's now ahead of us. So it's Sweden cool. at the moment. Pretty open game to start with. Both ends, uh, both teams going forward. Oh. That was nice, nice attempt there by the Swede. It was, it was indeed, and it's just a shame she couldn't get to the second ball and uh, mm. keep that in play. Canrid, there, number nineteen, went round the Belgium and just couldn't quite get to uh, the second ball. But uh, if the Swedes win this, did they play the turnips in the semi-final? We. The... Ah, here we go. So Belgium. I thought, that, I thought this were at Brentford Stadium tonight. I didn't realise it was at uh, Lee Sports Village. Is it? Yeah. See outside, it says Wigan and Lee, but I oh, thought it, it were. Yeah, it does indeed. I honestly yeah. thought it were at Brentford, unless that were last night. Yes, I think it was last night. I remember seeing the uh, the multicoloured seats. Yeah. So. Obviously, I know our semi. As I say, our say. Oh, good save! I think I think you might still be ahead of me. No, it's just showing replay now. No, I've just seen it first. I'm on five thirty-four. I'll see where I am when it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just seeing the replay now. Good run through the field by by the Swede. Nobody wanted to take it off her, and it was a good save. So I'm yeah. six or two. Right, I'll just wait when I come off the second replay here. 
Swedish bench looking like I'm on, I'm on six I'm on six minutes now, so you're ahead of me again. <laughs> it wasn't worth doing, was it? Don't worry, mate. Stay as you are. Stay as you are. Um, I've only got you for forty five minutes anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shot there from the Swede. Well, according to uh, the site I'm on, fifty eight percent think it will be Sweden that win it. Twenty nine percent Belgium, and fourteen percent have gone to the draw. That's from ten and a half, well, ten thousand eight hundred and sixty-three votes. Wow, wow! Not what, what time you had now, Chris? I've tried to rewind it a bit. I'm on six thirty-eight. Ah, I'm forty-three, forty-four, forty-five. Belgium are going through, but there's a couple of Swedes covering. Back to the goalkeeper. Oh, nice play! Nice, cool play there. Oh, number thirteen, just a little bit of a. Oh, is it no? She got away with it, but she could. Oh no! Well, not so. I got rid of it. The Swedes. I've just yeah, hit seven. Seven oh five. Right, so I've made sure it's about three. Se yours is three seconds in front because by right. the time it comes to it, it'll probably end up. <laughs> it will. It will. Um, yeah, Charlotte's off for dinner. Um, oh, what we having? Well, you know, five courses. You know, with silver service, probably. <laughs> <laughs> David Burton, be he's just he's our had a guest. Be our guest. Put that napkin. <laughs> Bloody test. <laughs> David's had a vindaloo. Oh. There we go. <laughs> vindaloo. You have a bucket. You have a bucket of it. <laughs> yeah. that, was one, that was one of the best English songs ever, that was. It was. I think it was the same year as, was it the same year as Three Lions? I'm not sure, but uh, I did like vindaloo. Complete and utter nonsense. Um, I'm not saying everybody is pleased to see Charlotte go, but they're all saying goodbye. <laughs> oh, headed on by Belgium, but uh, sometimes the TV can. Uh... Oh, spicy chicken burger and chips from the local pub for me, says Nick Nack. Oh, well, I must admit, I, um, I I did have a spoons earlier, but it was breakfast, like a late breakfast. Well, kind of not wrong with that. Late, no, no. So where are you on now, Chris, to Amwise? 8.45. Okay, well, you've got about 15 seconds in front of me from five seconds. How's that worked out? Mate, just get in front and just stay there. It really, you know, I don't... Right, know I'm you at 8.54. Yeah, well, I'm on 8.59, so, yeah. But if like, you go in front, it. don't worry, mate. Just stay in front. So, um, yeah, 58% think it's going to be a Swedish win. And going into this, of course, Sweden haven't been beaten in five games. They've won three and drawn two. Uh, in fact, they could only draw against Ireland. And they drew, obviously, earlier in this tournament against Netherlands. Uh, but the Belgians have won two, lost two, drawn one. Um, they lost 3 0 to England in a friendly pre, pre the tournament. And they lost 2 1, obviously, to, to France in the tournament. So, yeah. I mean, everything's, everything's pointing to a Swedish win, but then, you know, in fairness, England, if they hadn't had the home advantage, I don't think it would have been favourites against Spain. No. No, and, and you know, we've gone from demolishing a team 8-0, you know, 5-0 here, etc., and it's just, you know, that game was scrappy till the end. You know, we had to fight hard and find a second and third wind in that second yeah. half I to, get, you know, to get anything out of it. At the end of the first half, I said, if Spain score, I couldn't see us getting back into it. No, no, I was exactly the same. I said, if Spain get another, that's it. Game's killed off. Yeah. And, you know, we managed to get back into it by oh, all it's... accounts. I never, I'd never thought it had come, but it did in the end. Oh, it was, well, you've said that a few times. And um, You don't you think know... the officiating were poor in that game? It depends what you're comparing it against. In oh. oh, Swedes are in. Oh, she skyrocketed it. Oh, she, yeah. Over the top from number 16. Not happy with herself. That was the Belgian giving it away there. Yeah, it were. Well, she kicked it. It hit the Swede and went to another Swede. Um, but then, yeah, coming in, she should have done, she should have at least tested the goalkeeper. I mean, she was 
falling back when she hit it, but she still sort of tested the goalkeeper. The yeah. farmer won't be happy, will he? The farmer yeah. won't be happy finding a Swede in a rough patch. So, as Nick Nack says, <laughs> they did fight back. <laughs> That's the main thing. Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah, they did. They did. Um, Belgium have got most of the possession, 57%, and they're coming forward here now. They are indeed. Can they do anything with it, though? The only thing is, when you when you've got a team, and no disrespect to Belgium, that are sort of that sort of where they are in the rankings, they have a certain standard, and you, you do kind of know that for oh, all the possession, the they might not ball, win it. Poor ball. I think you've gone ahead of me again. I'm on twelve twelve oh eight nine ten seventeen eighteen nineteen. <laughs> Why? I know it's just gone to 12. So what are you on? 12.28 now. I'm on 12.11. I, I mean, that, every time you're behind me, you jump ahead of me. So you've gone, from 12, 12, you've gone from 12.12 12 to 12.11? Yeah, I actually went, actually went back. I saw it go back to 12. What are we at now? I'm at 12.26. So I think it's, it must be something to do, because it's a fire stick, it's something to do with the internet. Yeah. You know, you know sometimes when you get the little circle going round. Um, yeah. Yeah. Belgium would be the better tie for England, Helen says, completely right. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. I said that yeah. prior, to the, prior to the game kicking off. Totally agree. Um, it is between these two to play England. No, this is it. Is, no, it this is, is it, yeah. This, yeah, this is the one. Um not much much of the Euros for obvious reasons. She's been upstairs sorting you... the kids while I've been doing it. I'm going to say either that or be truthful now, Kate. Did he not let you out the basement? Did he, <laughs> did he <laughs> locked her down there? <laughs> I don't even know that that picture's you. I it's like, it's like Harry Potter. And what will you be doing through the summer? I'll be in my room, not making any noise, pretending that I don't exist. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I mean, I mean, Kate could be anybody. You know, nobody's seen her, have they? Oh, good ball, great Ooh! header, good save. Go on, well, oh, oh well scramble. held by the keeper. That was a scramble. She lost it. Um, the the, <laughs> the Belgian coach can't believe it. Let's have a look at it now. So the Swedes. She's on side. She's on side. Yeah, as a header. It's, oh, she. Oh. Oh, well, wow. Well, there's a bit of a foul in there. Let's have a look. It was a good header. She's done well, she's done well to get that header away there, yes. especially when she got yeah. into it blindly a little bit. Yeah. Um, and in fairness, the, the Belgian goalkeeper, she, I mean, that, that Swede Ed was Rod. certainly taken down, but she saved it, but she, she punched it out. Well, she palmed it out, let's say. She was, yeah. she was diving. And it went to, straight to a, to a defender, who then proceeded to not just boot it into Rose Ed, which you'd want them to do. Um, you know, it, it, uh, it, it they were they got away one on Belgium, and I, I'm not sure there was. I did see one of the um, Swedes appealing for a penalty, and um, I've seen them given. Um, yeah, definitely. Kate, Kate says, um, but you all know I exist because I am here for the most part. I don't know. Daniel could have two keypads. He could be catfishing everybody. <laughs> I mean, I'm on my own. I ain't got the time. <laughs> I haven't got the time for that shit, to be honest. <laughs> you know, for the makeup on for the old TikTok vids. <laughs> oh, well, it is. That's it. I do my videos on a Friday. Then on, on Saturdays and Sundays, I shave off my beard off and I turn my head one way on camera. And I turn my head the other way. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a free kick, surely. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. She was pulled down there, pulled down. Overall thoughts of the whole tournament? I've been impressed with it. I've been impressed with it. I think it's been uh, well organised. I think it's, uh, you know, there's not been any crowd trouble. Not that you expect there to be, um, but but you know, we do see it happen. All it takes, you know, especially with the recent weather we've had in England. You know, yeah. all it takes is a couple of idiots to get on the beer early and, um, 
you know, make, be a bit of a nuisance. But no, I think we've, uh, I think it's been a great tournament. Fantastic. And, you know, long may that success, con- you know, continue. And I think as well, I mean, my neighbour said this, that men could learn a thing or two from watching these games. I think Helen said it on, uh, she popped in on my England Spain watch along and actually yeah. said, she, I think she said the same thing that, you know, the men's game could, they should be looking over the shoulder at this, thinking this is what we should be doing. Yeah. Um, Kate says here, um, Daniel's whole world is a complete fantasy. Partner and family do not exist. Mrs. Riley, however, does, and you know it, Chris. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Riley. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't found it quite as exciting as the World Cup, but still an enjoyable spectacle. Do you know what? There's been no diving, no cheating, no harassing the referee. It, it, in a lot of ways, it's been better than the the uh, than the World Cup. I believe a lot of women officials are going to. Oh, lovely play by the Swede, and then the Belgian. Got oh, the she's took it round her. Can she? Oh, yeah, loses it. I'm guessing you're in front of me now for the corner. I'm on, I was on 17.14 then. Yeah, I'm at 17.15 and then obviously the thing went on. What the, I'm 17.24 now. I mean, oh. I, I, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're about a second in front of me now. We're, we're taking turns in being on top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just hold on to each other and keep rolling and rolling and rolling. One of us is on top, then I'm on top, then you're on top, then I'm on top. <laughs> We'll keep going um, down that hill. Nick Nax says <laughs> it's the Women's World Cup. I don't know. I thought it was. I thought they did say it was the Men's World Cup, but I stand to be corrected. Kate says I agree. The women play with passion and show a lot more want. Uh, no offense to men, and it's not being sexist, but money plays a lot in it. I think. I yep. just think, to be honest with you, the women don't cheat as much as the men. I think it's as simple as that. You know. Um, would I actually seeing want... football being played instead of um, you know dr- yes dramatic? Yeah. You know, there's no trying to fool the referee. You know, would we need VAR if the players you know didn't uh, didn't try and cheat the referee? And I still say that it should be retrospective yellow and red cards for diving and all that, and that will soon be out. But um, um. Going to dream on with you. Says you sound like Neymar. I don't get that. It must mean something. Who different. does? Helen says sounds like Neymar though. Is that oh. the diving and the rolling and the yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ne- Neymar's the uh, Neymar's yeah, the theatrical, man. the theatrical yeah. footballer. Yeah. Um, Neymar's Jack- Neymar's the theatrical performer. Jesse Lingard's the TikTok star. Oh, have you seen it? Yeah. Um, Kate says, it, it, how, when... "What have you? Uh, if if anyone hasn't seen it, I mean, I'd be very surprised. To be honest, Forrest are starting to actually piss me off. We how much that's all you keep hearing about now. This is why I said they'll stay up this season because the media they're all over them. Mm. They they are they are spending the money. Let's hope they they uh, risk it. You've we wasted two hundred k on a player that's flaming for one year." Yeah, Ozzy. Good evening. How are you? He says he likes Adam Peaty as a football player. Each to their own. <laughs> Welcome along, Ozzy. Uh, Kate says when men throw themselves around for little nudge of the elbow, etc. So dramatic. Well, if that's what Dan does, then you know for attention. <laughs> you know. Arsenal are now the biggest Premier League spenders this summer. Weren't they all the biggest spenders last summer and still bottled it? I don't know, but they... Because they bought, they bought a completely million. youthful squad last season, didn't they? Yeah. They bought a completely youthful squad, spent the most money, brought the most numbers in and still bottled the uh, Champions League. Well, Arsenal <laughs> 121.5 million. Um, then Tottenham, Man City, Leeds, Leeds, Liverpool, Chelsea... And I get a bad neck if I try and look guard, look down at Leicester because we're right at the bottom there. Uh, Lingard was at my party vaping. If you say so, Ozzy. If you say so. Yeah. Um, if you have, uh, you look new to the channel, so it's, it's great to have you along. 
please um, subscribe if you haven't. We would be much appreciative of that. For both channels, myself and Turf Morehouse TV, uh, which is Dan's, um, he, he's planning something for his reaching his 500. So uh, it's got to be better than the hot chip challenge. And I have, I have it's, it's, it's interesting, Chris. It's interesting. I'm not releasing any information. I know. I've seen the teasers. I've seen the teasers. And uh, I did tell him he should streak, streak across Burnley's first home game, but he wasn't doing it. Uh, it's because I go from 500 subscribers to 500 quid out, out of pocket to pay the fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's 5 a.m. where I'm at. I'm presuming it's America, is it, Aussie? Uh, Box is in. Good evening, Box. How the devil Love are well, you? Box. Um, Alan says, plead the fifth, Dan. <laughs> 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 um, let's, let's just catch up. Daniel has... A health concern injury every other day is very dramatic. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that's only so he can get a, a, a rub down with the wet sponger. Kate, oh, uh, don't, don't, don't set her up because she'll say Daniel is a wet sponge. I know what's coming. <laughs> Read her like a book. <laughs> we'll see. She's typing as we speak. Anthony's in. It wouldn't Good surprise me. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Here he is. What are you doing? You, you told me, Anthony, you were having a Chinese. And a night in with the wife. I mean, if you're into threesomes, then you know you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go and be with your missus, Anthony. Go and be with your missus. Um, yeah, the money Lingard is on is absolutely well. He, he's gone for the money. And at the end of the day, <laughs> let's be honest with you. If it was me, would I have gone for the money? Yeah, even Forrest. If they're going to pay me that sort of money, of course I would. Uh, and we all ask why we leave jobs, isn't it? You know, we leave jobs because one of two reasons: one, they sack us, or two, we move on because yeah. we've we've had a better offer. So you know, it's a footballers aren't the same, you know. And at the end of the day, he didn't have any commitment to West Ham. I thought he'd go to West Ham. They, I went, I went on to Forge from Iron last night. My God, they were spitting feathers. You know, oh, I bet. I bet, I bet Duke and Gates he weren't half giving it some. Yes, indeed. Um, I wasn't thinking anything of the sort. Yes, you were. Oh, and it's straight into the Swedes. Oh, I tell you what, that's a quick kick out from the Swede. Straight to a Belgian player. But a Swede wins it back. Oh, that is a good ball. Go on, Sweden. Go on. Finish it off. Yes. Yes. Sorry, Dan. What a goal! What I don't know because you've gone goal. way in front of me now. <laughs> I'm only on twenty. I'm on twenty-four ten. What? Oh, I was I was on something like twenty twenty-three fifty-seven or something like that. Well, well, he's there. He's back. Did he come on up? <laughs> oh yes, did he down there? Have you have you seen it yet? Yeah, I think uh, I'm not sure whether it's been chalked off for offside. No, she was not offside. She was not offside. It it was a it was a lovely taking goal. I could see what the goalkeeper was doing. The Swedish goalkeeper could see her up there because she got the ball. And I've never seen a goalkeeper kick it out so quick in the in this tournament. She 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 didn't get it. A Belgian player got to it. Went straight to a Swede. They are looking at the offside. They are. Either that or she's stopping the traffic. I'm not sure what the match official is actually doing. She might be doing she might be doing a spice girl. Stop right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> she looked on side, but I haven't seen the replay yet. But she did look on side. But it was a well taken goal, whether it was counts or not. Let's see what happens. Oh, what she's got her arm up. She's got her arm up. It says offside, no goal. Now you've jumped in front of me again. Or is she going to give it? I'm not sure. It's still showing one. It's, no it's goal. She's just put the ball down no for the goal. free kick. Offside. No goal offside. Yeah, you've jumped ahead of me again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 Did he get back in your box? <laughs> <laughs> that... I, I, 
I can say I haven't seen it. They haven't shown the lines or they haven't shown in slow motion that bit. It looked on side. Unfortunate for the Swedes there because I thought it was a really well taken goal. It were, it were, and if if they were off any call for offside, it's it's definitely marginal. This is what pisses me off, right? This angle. Oh, they're showing this it now. Yeah. That angle, the, the angles for me piss me off somewhat chronic, right? Show it, show it as it is. Show it directly along the line. Yes. Yeah. Show it as, tra as a straight line because from an angle, I could look offside. I'm not yeah. being funny, but uh, that's how we all, so, you know, illusions. Believe me, Dan, you're not funny. <laughs> uh, no, but the thing is, look, you look at illusions. You know, illusions yeah. look like you're in yeah. a square, but yet one person could stand at one corner of the square and look tiny, where the other person looks really tall on the other. Yeah. I thought it was on side for me. I thought, whatever happened, well, put it one way, whatever happened to, uh, you know, striker's benefit of the doubt. And no. for me, I didn't think there were that much doubt there. No, no. The Nick Nat super through ball, looks on side to him, Aussie VAR, yeah. box, do we want Belgium to win? I just want, football needs to be the winner, box. Football needs to be the winner. I mean, you wouldn't probably appreciate that, obviously, you know, being a United fan, but, you know. <laughs> sorry, mate, sorry. Uh, nice through ball, says James. Yes, he does. Uh, it's only 8.25. Um, Helen, I'm not sure what you're on about there, but yep, yeah, you can tell the time. <laughs> David, yes, come on, Var. Oh, of course, Belgian fan. Um, <laughs> uh, they do have nice chocolate. Given offside, wow, did not look must say as well. Knickknacks are a really Nick. decent crisp as well, Chris. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, James, um, David, harsh decision. Games goal not given, looked onside to me, yet. Yeah. Uh, elbow was two millimeter offside, probably. Um, and I'm, I'm glad, I'm so glad you went with elbow then, Nick Nack. Um, see, is that not another thing that bugs you, Chris? That football, oh, that football, it's called the game is called football. So if you're offside, you're offside on the basis of your feet. That's how I think it should be viewed. Because when, because when, when players are running. Your arms naturally come out. You you are naturally yeah. running. You need to swing your arms to build momentum. So why are we not basing offside on feet? To be honest with you, mate, that is an excellent point. And that gets... Uh... But... But, uh, uh, as I say, very good point. Very good point. I agree. I mean, I'd, for me, I'd say, why not? Let's just get rid of offside altogether. Oh, I said that. <laughs> but then what? Then the, you know, we'd have nothing to argue about, would we? Oh, you'd have, you'd have people stood next to the keeper, wouldn't you? You'd, well, you'd, you'd have those goal hanging gits just hanging well, about you'd, it, you'd but, uh, trying to talk to your keeper. In <laughs> fact, in fact, Everton would have automatically have stayed up with that bloke already attaching himself to. to <laughs> All Sweden are coming ahead again. She's gone round. The cross is well high. I don't even think Jan Vestergaard would have got on the end of that one. Uh, David agrees with you totally. No, I, I say just let's get, get let's get rid of offside. And if they want to leave a player up, then they keep a defender back. Fine, because um, if you're going to put a player up for up front, you're going to have to have a defender marking you. So, you know, at the, at the end of the day. You, you, I just think they, they, they're, they're just well. very, very picky. They, they're very, very picky, and it's it's VAR was not introduced for all this offside here and offside there. It was it was introduced to you know nullify nullify diving, you know, bring out the you know make sure that on field decisions are, are called correctly. Not mm. not based on, oh, oh, that's offside. Oh, there's a goal. Let's look back over the last five minutes to see if there was a foul in the build-up. None of that was even mentioned. Yeah. I mean, oh, you know, Belgium the, the VAR, I think the rules have got to be changed to accommodate VAR. Oh. I don't think VAR struggle. It struggles with the game as it is. So that was just wide from the Belgians there. Um, but how often do we end up talking, as we are now, about offsides because of VAR? Um, good evening, phrases. How I think that's pronounced right. How are you? Welcome along. 
uh nice to see you uh anybody new please subscribe uh if you haven't already heading will be banned from professional football yeah that's next isn't it i hope not i hope not i mean yes for kids don't get me wrong i can see that but okay out of are we saying now then that professional boxers that in the when the training they wear their head protectors don't they they should wear that in the ring yeah What's more dangerous for heads, boxing or football? It's pathetic. The balls have got softer. We're not using yeah. leather leather balls yeah. anymore, and yeah. it's not just that. But if if you're going to do that to all sports, let's take all let's take all the stuff away. That 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 Formula One driver that nearly crashed into the uh, that nearly crashed into the the fans. You know, yeah. if it wasn't for him, you know, let's let's remove the halo. Let's let you know if we're going to remove everything. Let's remove that as well. Are we going to then speak about something mm -hmm. because he's, de you know, we're going talking about a death instead? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It it, yeah. it it annoys me how much. Mm. Why change something? Why yeah. change something when it was working as it is? It's yeah. just more ways to make money. And if anything, it's not. Mm. I don't understand how they've realised that this is going to cost them more in the long run because. It, they're trying to look more into technology and not yeah. human error. Football has always been based on human error. What are you seeing now? Sorry, just to get back to the match. What are you watching now? Because I think I might have gone backwards again. Because I've seen I the say, I'm, I'm seeing stars. I'm fucking fuming with all this VAR shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can see that's um, why I thought I'd get you back onto the topic of the match. <laughs> we're just on. We're just at the just about at the corner. So 30, 35, 30, well, thirty-two, thirty-six. I'm ahead of you, but the, the, I, I don't. I look like the, the, you know, when sometimes you're watching and it flips back and you watch the same thing again. I'm, I'm confused there. Um, Sweden had a shot, but it's gone out off a Belgian defender for another another corner. A Swedish lady collecting flies. Um, <laughs> I've just seen. I've just seen that. Oh, is it in? Oh. What's that? Oh no, the Belgian goalkeeper, oh, yes. brave, brave goalkeeping. I'm gonna to have to say that there. That was really brave goalkeeping from the um uh threw herself in there yeah, where all the did. bodies were. Yeah, she did. She and well, she should have grabbed it first, in fairness. Let's just say she did she did sort of save her own mistake. I'm surprised that the Swedish player didn't do any better there. She she didn't sort of kick it, you know, connect with the kick properly, did she? No, and no. The keepers had a bit of a safe, a safe collection, really. So, an, another, another let off for Belgium. But I think in that sort of situation, it, when she wasn't expecting the ball to her feet, she wasn't expecting that, and so she's not geared up to a shot. So she just sticks a football, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're we're going off in the chat here about different things um, with with football, but. Um, We'll, we'll say we'll get back. We'll get back to the game. Thirty minutes gone. Well, thirty-four minutes gone. Um, Sweden are pretty much in control at the moment. Dan. Yeah, can't say much further than that. I think Belgium have uh, a weather in the storm at the moment, and I think it's all down to their goalkeeper who's kept them in this. Um, I, it's only a matter of when for the Swedes. Really, it's the the. They're getting closer and closer. They've, for me, I think they've had one wrongly ruled off, but Belgium will take it. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the moment, believe it or not, Sweden are only on forty-four percent possession. I think that's really? the Belgians sort of keeping it in defence there, just giving it away again. Uh, Swedes are through here. Oh, is that a booking? That I think she took one for the team. Then she's being called back. Number nine for Sweden's on her knees with her arms out. The referee's calling her over. Um, I think let's have a look what she did. Oh, she, well, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's my sex noise, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looked like so she was holding her. What time back. are you on now, Chris? 35 34. Yeah, she got a yellow card. I think the Swedish player did more. She she went for that. She 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 held her, but she went through her arm and like she just pulled her arm through. There was there's 
she didn't oh, well, anyway she went down it's a free kick to belgium let's see what's going to happen lovely free kick into the box the goalkeeper comes doesn't collect it it's back oh. it's out like, oh they still got it in there sweden can no oh, and then it's up to the space station with the header <laughs> what are you at uh i'm just just seeing the replay of the free kick now i mean it was a wild kick and then another sweet kind of managed to get it back into the box oh it was it was panic there from both sides to be honest with you i think um, yeah definitely uh, it was a it was a, a nice game of head tennis in there in the box uh <laughs> Indeed, sort of indeed. A, what was that song by the Who? Um, Pinball Wizard, weren't it? That was it, yeah. Box says Sweden versus England, France versus Germany, semis. That you would think is the way that it's going to end up. Yeah. Um, yeah, Helen. Well, I think Dan does go back to the 1900s. <laughs> we what? what's gone wrong with football. Should go back to the 1900s, then you'll find the answer to most football madness. Um, oh, trust yeah. me. I would, that's why I like going to watch. Yeah, you've started you know, him off again, Alan, haven't you? No, you've no. I'm just saying him. that's why I like to go see teams like Paddy. There we go. You see, I take it. I take it off. <laughs> Nick Nat says Belgium are struggling to find an out ball at the moment. That they are. Um, would Chris. you put another tenner on Belgium? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. All I was all I was gonna say was that's why you go and see non-league football because it reminds you of yes. those times. Yes. But even oh that was a fair punch from the uh, Swedish goalkeeper. But even Oh, I even don't know why I'm whinging. No VAR in the championship. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Um yeah, I mean I agree with you, but you still see the diving and the whatever oh, even yeah. on the league level, but uh but I'm I'm the same as you, you know. Living down here, I went to see Paul Town when I started, and it is is a different feel. It is a different feel to the game, totally. Yeah. Uh, Nick Knapp says when Belgium do manage to go forward, they're looking dangerous. Well, at the moment, let's just update the old um, figures. Forty four percent, like I say, Sweden, but they've had twelve shots to Belgium's one. They've had four on target as well so you know um ravi's back hey how are you ravi welcome back hope you are ravi. what's the game saying um saying nil nil at the moment saying give us a goal it is it is indeed oh, great interception uh, no no ref that's not a free kick in the slightest She's got the ball. I don't think this ref is going to uh, impress us, is she? No. No, I honestly thought she'd won the ball back fair, fairly there. Yeah. We know we've got to sing now, don't you? I'll have, to send, I'll have to send the words for that off to Leicester. We might need it next season. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ravi says, so England making it to the final. I think if we get past Sweden into the final, I think we'll win the final. Definitely. Yeah. Um, on that. Um, David, good evening. How are you? Welcome back, sir. Hope you are well. Uh, Chris. Chris is in the building. In hey, room. Mr. Welch, how are you? Yeah, how are you do talking about small clubs that it, you know that it, it's nice to watch? How are Carlisle doing at the moment in the pre season? <laughs> it's like they were going to say Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I have, I do actually, I don't, I do have a soft spot for uh, Carlisle because they, they now that was Nigel Pearson's first great escape, was it? Yeah. Um, when they scored the goal and the uh, the goalkeeper went up and scored the goal in like the 95th minute or whatever it was, um, the goalkeeper that was on loan, uh, Nigel Pearson was the manager. Well, and fair enough. Says, he learned something every day here. You know. You may, I've got you a may, new song for Leicester fans, Chris. Cheesy music. You may... 
No, you know. <laughs> but... <laughs> that was a bit of a Michael Owen comment, wasn't it? But, uh, <laughs> I, I saw the volleys go up and I thought, oh, this is Wimbledon. <laughs> but yeah, for coming up to the end of the first half, it's it's 41 minutes, um, straight into the arms of Sweden. Uh, when you have to go, Dan, just let me know. I know you might have to go soon, so no problem. Thank you very much for being on. No, it's not a problem. If if you want to come back and do stats for, uh, and I, I'm I'm all right till about five two. No, right, that's fine then. Yeah, no, that is fine with me. That is fine with me. I just don't want you being late. Um, I'll, I'm 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 not late. I just arrive in style at my own time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like to make an entrance, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so, I've got a new song for the Leicester fan base as well. It's quite catchy. Do, do, do. Can we make a transfer? Do, do, do. <laughs> the answer to that, of course, is no. <laughs> I think I but think you could also add in... the last bit as well. Do, do, do. Perez has got to go. Do, do, do. <laughs> what? <laughs> I seem to keep him at the moment because we're not getting anybody else <laughs> yeah. in. You know. Um, It'll be Pearson. like a new signing when he comes on, Chris. Yeah, it will be. Uh, Nigel Pearson got sacked by Carlisle for having busted up. Well, who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Chris, I've got to say this to you. Um, where are we? Here we go. I've got to say this to you. You don't know the answer to that question. And I think you, 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 are, you are an ostrich. <laughs> Oh, that was class. That was class. Oh, they're just showing VAR now, that VAR decision on the um, BBC website. Let's just have a look what it shows me. Um, I mean, It'll it, show it you what I'm on there. It was lovely, mate, you know, goal. Just seeing as they show us the lines. Um, which, of course, they don't show in, uh, in, in on Merseyside because somebody will run on the pitch and snort them up. <laughs> Evening, Robbie Fowler. Evening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's not showing the lines. Uh, she 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 told the she told the goalkeeper a dummy, and we're back to uh, stop right now. Right, all the lines. <laughs> My God, you couldn't you couldn't fart between them lines. All it showed you, to be honest with you, is exactly the same as it showed you on the TV. So it didn't show a better lineup or anything like that no you know but we're into the last few minutes of the half um it's sweden all the way isn't it at the moment it is it is um belgium will be very happy belgium will I'll be very happy with their uh input so far in the first 45 mm -hmm. they've managed to keep you know keep the ball out the net shall we say you know if we take away that incident early on yeah they'll believe and I think the belief will grow stronger in the uh, in the Belgium side the more the game goes on. Um, indeed, indeed. The Swedes will start to panic because in this tournament they've been putting games to bed, you know, quite early. Yes, yes. Um, Chris, you're quite right. In fact, I did watch that on YouTube. They did a documentary on J Jimmy Glass scoring that goal. Uh, it was a very, very interesting documentary. If you love football, uh, oh, that went right over her head. Yeah, if you're into sort of, and I love watching sort of history of clubs uh, and, and you know th that sort of thing, and um, it, that was a very good documentary. Do do check it out, guys. If you're new, don't forget to give us a sub, a Left Until I Die TV. And if you are and you haven't yet, please smash the likes. It does help with my old algorithms, and also jump on over to Turf Moorhouse House TV and uh, subscribe to Dan's channel as oh. well. What the rush for the Belgians then? You, you, your first, your first choice for championship football, <laughs> <laughs> and it's half time. It is half time. Oh, as, according to the the graphic in the middle, there was only a minute added on. Um, so let us uh, let us remove. Now let me just think what I'm doing here. Otherwise, we're going to cut ourselves off at the head here, Dan. <laughs> right. So let me. Oh, I'm the one who looks like Henry VIII, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, one of his wives, she, she could never walk properly because she used to just amble into the room. 
<laughs> a joke for every occasion here. How do I do it? I hear you ask. Please don't do it. I hear everybody else ask. <laughs> one one. Sorry, nil nil. Sorry, Dan. Nil nil. And, it is indeed. Uh, let me just run you through the the, the stats. Um, I say forty-seven percent possession, so it's near. It's evened out a bit. Fifteen shots to Sweden, one to Belgium. Uh, five on target, none on target for Belgium. It has all been Sweden, hasn't it? It has. It's been an absolute uh, route for Sweden going forward. They look deadly. Uh, Belgium have come forward. Don't get me wrong. Yes, Helen. But um, take care, Helen. Um, obviously, I just think that. As I, as I said to you, Sweden will be a bit frustrated that, they've, that they're not in front in this one. Yes. So, yes. Be Belgium will come out farting, I think, a little bit more than what they did in the first half. It's been, it's been, has been end to end. I can't say that Belgium have really been, you know, 11, 11 players behind the ball. You know, they, they've been coming out as well and trying to take the game to, to Sweden. But hopefully, the, the, you know, Belgium will be hoping that they've caught Sweden on an off day. Yeah. I just, I, for me though, I still think that goal should have stood. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I've just played it back on the uh, on the BBC website, and it only shows what they showed in, you know, on the telly. It didn't show a an e an, a, a, an even camera view, if you like. Um, but they should be able to sort of twist it round, shouldn't they, to so that it is even. Um, yeah, they, they're showing it, it again. They're showing it again, and it's on the basis of the arm to the to the shoulder of the back. Yeah, but it's just ah, uh, yeah. No, you, are, you are quite right. Football, we should be going by the foot. But you know what this game reminds me of? Go on. That's the Italy versus Belgium game because Italy were all over Belgium in that in the first half of that. Belgium came out. I think it was forty nine minutes. They scored, and then yeah. the, Italy just could not break them down. And you know it was it was so one sided, but Belgium won it. But with that, with those stats, I mean they're, they're going to have to do something more than they've done. Not, if they played the second half like they played this first half, unless they get a lucky break, um, they're, they're not going to get anything from this game, Belgium. No, they're not. They're not um, set pieces. As I say, corners are going to be their probably best chances of getting something, or unless they take unless they take a Georgia Stanway route out of it and create something from nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. at the moment, yeah, you, you you'd like to say that second half the Swedes will have to up, up it a level, mm. and um, that's where we could see Belgium falter. I think that probably has to be the worst VAR decision of this. Of these finals, um, yeah, I, I just you know, up, I had been praising VAR that they got most things right. I mean, we watched, I was watching the game with Craig, I think it was the Swedish Portugal game, and it <laughs> we, we saw it from three different angles, four different angles, and we went uh, uh, offside, not offside, offside, not offside. It was such a hard one to call as to whether it had hit. A striker or a defender last before it went on to uh, to score a goal. That I get, but that one, like you say, I I thought that the um, you know the strikers got the the call. Yeah, yeah, you you you'd have thought so. Um, it's you, you know you know what personally, I'd say the woman in the match in this game so far has probably been the Belgium goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah, and that that says more about obviously the fact that Sweden are being Sweden, you know, second second feed in the uh, in their in their well second in ranking. It's sorry, ranking. yeah, yeah. And then obviously, you know, the Belgium goalkeeper's just been phenomenal. She's been brave. She's come out to everything. She's collected it. She's been calm. She's punched but uh, you know the ball away a few times. I think so far. For our basis, basis of that first half, she's she'll have been my woman in the match. Yes, yeah. Uh, Belgium did have a couple of decent chances. I'm not. I'm not going to say that you're wrong, Nick Nack. But which match are you watching? 
<laughs> I mean, no, we, we see things differently. Everybody can see the same game and see things differently. I have, I don't think Belgium have had a decent chance at all, if I'm honest with you. Um, no. it, it has been very, very much sort of, you know, Sweden. Belgium have been scratched. They're just showing now that scramble at the back um, when she fell on the ball at the second attempt. Um, say so Sweden were half claiming for a penalty. And I, I just don't think... Um, David says both teams will score. <laughs> Nick now says, this is the same one as you. I know you are, David. I was being, <laughs> I was being facetious. I do apologise. <laughs> um, but um, but you, I agree with you totally 100% about the offside. You know, I think... Uh, I, yeah. I, it, I, it, I, I give up with it, like I say, because we always we used to spend so long after the matches arguing about the referee, and now we're doing exactly the same, but just arguing about VAR. So what what has improved? Absolutely. What is it good for? Absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> exactly, exactly, sir. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks. Um, Nick Nat says here just a bit transfer news, not about Leicester, obviously. West Ham have agreed a deal for. Is that was Scaramouche, in a... Scaramouche, well, that 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 yeah. <laughs> he was in a Queen song. Uh, <laughs> Shevchenko joining Arsenal, he says, is a boyhood dream come true. Oh, was it Eckers like? Oh, blue wow. night there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't give me that. Uh, and Lingard says, I loved Forrest's aggressive approach. What did they do? Tie you down to the bench. Aggressive approach. Basically, what you mean is, you said, I want this much. West Ham aren't saying yes. Newcastle aren't saying yes. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah, we'll have it. Right, you're on. I'll sign for you. It will be interesting just on Jesse Lingard, because I always think he's been one of those players that he will play well, like when a contract's up, or like you mm. know, he was playing for his place at West Ham and trying to get back into Man United. But if he signs somewhere permanently, once you've got past the opening few games, I think he'll just be awful, to be honest with you. you know, yeah, why I can see United it. Kept him, but why didn't they play him? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Chris, it's been a pleasure catching that first half with you. No, um, going through it. You, sir. you know that. And uh, no, hope, hopefully you're in for a better second half. <laughs> I will take a goal wherever it comes. Mate, <laughs> all the best. Turf Moor House TV, that is where you can find him on YouTube and also on uh, the, the old Twattersphere as well. Uh, as Boris Johnson said, it's not all about Twitter, but it is for football. <laughs> so he also follow. said, hasta la vista, baby. So <laughs> <laughs> he did. Take care, mate. All the best. Take it easy. All the best. I'm wait yeah. I don't know yet, otherwise I'm going to last it. You can go now. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Uh, it's half time. I'm going to have to go and water the old plants and uh, drop the kids off at the pool. We will be back in a couple of minutes. Don't, don't you be touching that dial now. No, don't you dare. We'll be right back after the break.
You are watching Lester Till I Die TV with Chris and Chums. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. All you need for everything Leicester City FC. It's Lester Till I Die TV. This is Lester Till I Die TV. Please subscribe now on YouTube. Watch a long show. Join in the chat and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome back. How the devil are we all still? Well, I hope I'm saying hello to the boy. As the players are paid for it, or they are coming out, don't debate with it, are coming back on the um, onto the pitch. Well, the Swedes are anyway at the moment. Uh, Del Boy, on the TV, I don't know if you're still here or um, or you, you've gone, but um, <laughs> what's the bleeding story? Oh, the bleeding story is it's still nil nil, um, unfortunately. And, but the other bleeding story is you are now the biggest spenders of the summer, Del Boy. And I have a feeling you still won't be happy with Arteta. Yeah, I think I think I'm right there. I think I'm right. Nil-nil. So, it's all been Sweden. 15 shots to Sweden. Uh, only one to Belgium. Um, and we're kicking off. As you can see on this screen there, we are kicking off. So, I'm a bit behind that with my, my commentary here. Um... They're all having a huddle at the moment. Um, Sweden will probably be very, very annoyed with themselves because they had the chances. I don't know. The, I mean, to me, it wasn't offside, but they are put it offside. So, um, you know, we, we have to live with that. Um, we know we don't agree with most of VAR's decisions. Sweden ready to go on the screen, but uh, they're still in a bit of a huddle. Um, our Belgium. Belgium have got to do something in this half. They really, really have. I'm not stating the obvious there. I'm not doing a Michael Owen moment, but they they had the possession, 54 to 46. Um, but we do need to see them do something. Mick hello, welcome back, mate. He says they don't need to panic. If Sweden keep doing what they're doing, they should will should still win. They should, they should um get a goal. Because they're the ones that have been pressing. Um, 15 shots, five on target. Probably about average for the for the women's Euros, that, to be honest with you. Um, and Charlotte's back. Charlotte, hello. How the devil are you? What did you have for tea? Dinner. Of course, you call it dinner because you're poached. I call it tea because I'm common. Uh, what did you have? Something nice, I hope. Um, but it's still nil-nil. Um and it's Belgium side, you know, they, they won the group. They did win the group, and they scored 37 goals doing that. Sweden on the attack now. Sweden, oh, lovely turn in the box, across the floor. Oh, and she didn't control it well enough. But the Sweden have still got it, and she's lost it to Belgium. That, the, the Swedish player had it down the near side. Sweden are now kicking from right to left, from right to left. It might be different on the screen. Uh, because I say the the um, algorithms on that will only sort of show it going one way. Um, came down the near side, down the left, um, went round the player well, and uh, just 
it was a poor pass. In, well, it wasn't a poor pass, but the woman, that, the player that got it, didn't keep hold of it when it when it went off. Um, just turning my chair on. Uh, but yeah, they scored thirty-seven goals somehow, Belgium in the in the group. Um, and they've, they've the best they've ever done is the group stage. So for Belgium, oh, a left-footed shot there for the Swede. It was. Lovely, lovely uh, shot with the left foot. Met it well, but it went straight to the goalkeeper. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the best they've ever done, uh, Belgium. They've never been as far as this in the Euros. Um, getting just getting to the group stage in the last ones in 2017 was their best. So we have a lot to beat in fairness. Um, Sweden have lost a uh, have lost a key player for this. Let's not forget that. Um, one of the star players is out, so uh, maybe we shouldn't be surprised that they're struggling. And I say struggling, and you'd look at this and think 15 shots are not struggling. Well, yes, they are, because they've had 15 shots, but not done anything with it. And like I said, it does remind me very much this of... Um, does remind me of... The Italy Belgian game. Italy had all the possession, all the possession, and then Belgium just hit them straight after the uh, straight after the break. But Sweden are coming. Oh, it was a bad ball. So it was a lovely break from Sweden. You just got to see this out. Oh, a bit of a tussle there, and again a poor ball into the box. Sweden have got to be doing doing better than that. Um, they were getting the good crosses in in the first half, and the first two in this half have not been anything. Oh, it's ahead. Oh. It was a header. It's now offside. It's now been given offside. A uh, late call there. Although they do give late calls now, don't they? The uh, the, the the assistant referees. But um, she took that. Yeah. Oh well, she wasn't offside. I think. I think again, the referee or the, the the assistant referee was a bit flag happy there, but it hit just um, almost at the joint of the uh, the, the bar and post. Uh, unlucky there for Sweden. Unlucky. Um, Charlotte, she had Pasta Primavera, Vio Scalapini, and Tiramisu. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, another marginal offside flag. <laughs> I, I think so. I don't know. I don't know if it was. It would have gone to VAR, so it might. It probably would have been given as offside. But uh, I hope you like that. Um, that Charlotte. It does sound very nice. Um, and mother allowed me a glass of bubbly wine. Yeah, I think I think you probably find that's called pop. <laughs> you enjoyed it. That's the main thing, Charlotte. You enjoyed it. Uh, David's a big fan of tiramisu. Anyway, so I've got I have got a tiramisu joke, and I can't remember what it is. It was a corner coming for Spain. Oh, yeah, it was the person that went to it. Don't ask that to a joke as such. But let's just get this corner out of the way. The corner coming in here from Sweden. It doesn't, again, doesn't get past the first Belgian player. Uh, and Belgium come away with it. The man, go, man finishes his meal in the restaurant and said, can I have um, an order this sweet? And they brought it. And it was a donkey with a blindfold on. And he went, no, I ordered mascarpone. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That must go down as one of my worst ones. <laughs> Remember, I'm available for weddings, christenings, and bar mitzvahs. So, nil-nil. 50 minutes gone. Five minutes of the second half. Going through here. Um... They're still, all these teams are still doing the short goal kicks to a defender on the edge of a box. And the attacking team are just, um, well, they're getting, you know, they're, they're expecting it and they're doing it. Uh, I think that, I think that's David's version of tumbleweed there. Um, Charlotte, I love you. You, <laughs> you laugh at my jokes. You're all right for me. <laughs> um, what can I say? What can I say? Oh, 
Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Uh, so, nil nil. Uh, there were some, some big score predictions at the start. Um, let's go back and have a look at those score predictions. Um, see how far it will take me back up the chat. Um, so Charlotte went 7 2 Sweden. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's looking very good at the moment, Charlotte. Um, Ravi went 4 1 Sweden. Um, Nick Nat went 2 0 Sweden. That's still on, as is James also went 2 0. Um, David went 2 0 Sweden. We're all going for the old Desmond, aren't we? Or half a Desmond, I should say. Um, yeah, I think that was the thing. 7 2, Charlotte. Mm. I'll have whatever that bubbly glass of wine that you had was. <laughs> See, so again, the second half has started the way the first half ended uh, with Sweden attacking. Oh, is it? Oh, no, it was a shot again. It went over the bar. It did go over the bar. Um, <laughs> yeah, because of course, um, nil nil does sound like 7 2. I hope your next comment isn't a swear word, David, or you're not uh, saying a swear word there. Because action is taken. Um, So 53 minutes gone. I mean, I'm, 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 I've got to be honest with you. I, I'm, I say I'm disappointed in Belgium, but I'm not because this is how they played. Um, how they played, you know, against Italy, but they came away with the win then. Uh, yeah, Nick Nat says Belgium holding their own at the moment, um, passing it around well. But they've got doing nothing with it, Nick Knack. That's the problem. You know, the Swedes would be quite happy to just, you know, let them let them knock it around. But that said, Sweden Sweden aren't making the most of the chances that they're having. So, you know, could we see penalties in this one? Yeah, I get what you're saying there, James. They have, um, but then, but also Belgium haven't threatened, and no good making it hard for the other side if you're not going to, at some point, have a shot. Now, 45 minutes at any level when it's international football, whether it's men, women's, under 17s, under 21s, whatever, one shot within 45 minutes of a quarter final. And it not being on target is bad. It, you know, to me, you know, it's it's you know, Sweden are creating all the chances. They're looking the better team. The team, are, for footballing reasons, it's a team I'd rather see go through. Uh, obviously, for for England, probably you know, any <laughs> better sooner Belgium goes through. Um, yeah, half chances isn't going to win a game, though, is it, Nick Nat? That's the thing. Um, Sweden have all the ball. Uh, Belgium are massive underdogs. 
Yes, I, I, and it's a fair point that Nick Mac. It's a fair point that you know they are still in the game. Sweden now on the edge of the box, a crossover. It, oh, it's a shot in, sort of half volley, half shot from the Swede, headed away by the Belgian, but straight back to the Swedes. They're still pressing. The, all the actions in the Belgian half at the moment. Well, I love. No, that's going to be too hard. Tried to play a one-two there, did Sweden, and and it went sort of straight, straight there. Uh, well, it went out basically too hard for them. But yeah, Belgium, you could say they're doing well at nil nil, you know. Uh, and they've always, while it's at nil nil, there's always that chance that they could they could actually do well, you know, as in you know, they might they might actually mix them, I think. Um but uh, this is Leicester Till I Die TV. Please, please do give us a subscribe if you haven't already. It would be really Honestly, so much appreciated. Sweden trying a long ball over there, um, but it was headed clear by the Belgian. Uh, it's only gone back to Sweden, though. Um, they played the ball back into their own half. About the only way that I think the Belgian will get the ball in that half at the moment. Um, Lou, Lou would have been with me tomorrow. Um, I thought it would have been with me tomorrow. It would have been with me tonight, but she's uh, she's at a hen do at the moment. She's just messaged me. She's a bit drunk, and I don't think bit would come anywhere close. <laughs> I really don't think it would. So I hope you're having a good time, Lou. <laughs> Get in there, girl. Um, no, boy, I don't know if you're still watching. Just replying to your message there. I'll get back to you after this game. Um, Oh, Charlotte. I shot an elephant in my pyjamas. I don't know how he got in my pyjamas. Yeah. Sweden on the attack. On the, uh, on the edge of the box, but they're being forced forced wide. Um, number five for Sweden plays it back. The number 14, I think it is. Oh, well, well across field there. Nobody cutting it out for Belgium. And it's now down on the right-hand side, level with the box, just going in now. Tries a foot over. It's a daisy cut to go straight to a Belgian player. I mean, Charlotte, I mean, I, I don't know if you know, but do you know that some elephants paint their toenails red? They do that so they can hide up cherry trees. You know how they get down? They sit on a leaf and wait for autumn. You started it. You started it, Cheryl. Uh, Belgium's transition from defence to midfield is good, but they're struggling in the last third to find the killer pass. Yeah, it's not happening for them at the moment. Maybe, maybe, maybe the coach needs to have a look at the uh, at the players on the field. Maybe make some changes. But that's a fair point. That Nick Nack. Um, Oh, yes, it was, David. A chance there. A chance for Sweden. That was quite close. Number 16 takes a shot. And, well, it wasn't. I mean, the goalkeeper, I think, had it covered. But number 16. How's your wife holding up, David? How is she doing? She got any fingernails left? <laughs> yeah. And if they, if they don't paint the toenails red, then they can paint the toenails yellow, Charlotte. Do you know why they paint the toenails yellow? So they can hide upside down in custard. 
I mean, have you ever seen a, you ever seen an elephant in custard? No, you haven't. Shows how good it works. <laughs> and yet yeah, tomorrow should be a good game it really should i'm looking forward to that david um in, in on paper and we all know football's not played on paper on paper it should be the best game it should be the best game Keep laughing, Charlotte. I'm, I'm, I'm liking you more and more every time you laugh. <laughs> so, nil nil. 62 minutes gone. It's now 50 50 with possession. The Belgium or Sweden have come back into it. 19 shots for Sweden. Two. For Belgium, they're not going to win it with those sort of stats. And then Sweden aren't going to win it when your top goal scorer isn't hitting the back of the net. Come forward now! Oh, good save! The goalkeeper got down while it was a long shot. It, it from number sixteen, um, which is the top goal scorer, like I say, um, Philippa Ang Angudal, I think it's pronounced um and oh penalty appeal we do want a penalty for some reason have i missed that uh in yep yeah, i can't argue with that nick nap they do but they've had two and neither of them have been on target um but i i can see this is going to come back and bite me on the bum isn't it <laughs> where are we here why do elephants talk to each other on the elephone Is that a penalty? I don't think they're going to get the penalty. No, they're not, because the uh, the game is going on. Um, we've seen it many times before where a team dominates but doesn't take the chances. Indeed. And we have seen that against Belgium. As I said, Italy, 100% knickknack. Italy are exactly the same. They they didn't take the chances. They dominated it. Belgium, but Belgium has scored by now. Um, and we're less than, uh, less than half an hour to go now. Uh, we could be looking at extra time. Could we even be looking at the first penalties? Um, yeah, with that, oh, it's a corner. It's a corner for Sweden. Um, it is. Yeah, please, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to Leicester Till I Die TV. Uh, we'd love you forever and ever and ever. This is Lester Till I Die TV. Please subscribe now on YouTube. And that was side netting. Um, I think some players on the other side probably got a of the pitch, probably got a little bit excited, but on the near side, it went into the side netting from the corner. So just over 25 minutes to Belgium to try. Oh, they're playing it about at the back. It's dangerous. You just want to be kicking the... Oh, it's, an, it's an argument, isn't it? If you kick it upfield and you don't, you know, you could lose it, but... We've seen a few times where they've lost the ball with these short goal kicks. And it's cost them. Charlotte. Oh, that's awful. I'm never going to read that one out. Oh, Belgium of the... Oh, they nearly... They were defending there against Sweden. They got the ball, but they, they just nearly gave it straight back again. Uh Go on, I will read it out because I'm going to I'm going to make a worse one than you did, Charlotte. What do you get when you cross a fish with an elephant? Swimming trunks. What do you get if you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? Woolly jumper. Boom, boom. Right, Sweden. Is that a corner? Yep, that's a corner to to Sweden. Sweden now need to start making this pay. Sweden have now gone for the first time. I think in the, most of the match, certainly after the last ten minutes. Look at that, eight corners to two. 22 shots, 22 shots to Sweden, two for, um, two for Belgium. And I tell you something, if Sweden don't start making this count, Sweden will regret it. 
Belgium will hit them on the break, I feel. I can see that happening. So the corner comes in. Eight corners they've had Sweden. Um, they've still got possession. Chips it into the box. Oh! She tried to uh, try a high a high kick there, and it didn't come off. Belgium are going to be making a substitution. Unlucky for some. Will it be unlucky for uh, Sweden? Number 13 is coming on. Number 13 is coming on for Belgium. Um, she's actually fairly calm, and she's barely sat down the whole game. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Number 22, Deleuze is off. And don't. Don't is the player on number 13. Don't, but we do. We do want to score. We want don't. We do want don't to score. Let's put it that way. I know I'm too good for this, really, aren't I? So, 67 minutes gone. We're coming up to the 20 minute mark. I can see extra time in this. I mean, I did say I, I, right at the start that I didn't think Sweden were going to be the next team to score, but Sweden have had that many chances. 22 chances they've had, only a third of those on target, though, and that is bad from an international team of any standing, like I say. But what is also as bad is that Belgium only had two shots on goal, and I don't know where the first goal is coming from. I really don't. Is it going to come from this Belgium attack? I mean, the, the Belgian players are finally getting up with it. No, she's she, absolutely. She, there's no Belgian player near her to pass to. And, and so she got crowded out. Uh, and she was running straight into the, uh, the, the Swedish goalkeeper's arms. I mean, she was running forward towards the goal. All I could see was Swedish players running back. And then a couple of Belgians joined them. Um, So, nil-nil, coming up to the 70-minute mark. Which way do you guys see it going? Do you see it being Sweden? Do you see it being Belgium? Or are we looking at extra time? So at the moment, all the passes are going astray from both teams. Um, I don't know... But it's getting me here that these players, all of the women's teams, they're just trying to do that one touch too much and they're losing it. But it's a ball played out to the far side. Sweden attacking the box here. Um, again, you see, again, she had plenty of chance to cross that ball and she took it right to the byline and she couldn't get it in. Bad decision making. Cross it over before then. You got a corner out of it, but you could have got the cross in early. So number five to take the corner for Sweden here. Swedish fans are trying to give the team some encouragement. They need to give them some, a goal. That's what they want. Yep, David, you're quite right. Extra time looming. Can't see them scoring. I can't see either team scoring. You watch the score from this corner. A chip in the box, a header from Sweden, and it is... Nearer to the goal, there's a corner flag than the goal, but number 14 for Sweden's got it, crosses it back in. A high header, the main striker missed it, it went to a Swedish player at the back, and again, it went into the side netting. Um, just to let you know, um, moving into the new season when it starts, Monday nights are going to be our review night. Uh, we were going to be doing a banter show at nine o'clock, uh, chat shit, get banged. But we're not anymore. We're going to be doing on the Monday night at seven o'clock uh, with Lou um, and Alan. We're going to be doing a um, Premier Premier review show. So we're going to be looking at the Premier League every Monday at seven and, and uh, analysing the results. And then at nine o'clock, oh, there's a Swedish player gone down. Uh, at nine o'clock, we're going to be a, a WSL review show. 
So at nine o'clock every Monday, we're going to be reviewing the Women's Super League. So uh, looking forward to that. Monday nights, review nights, EPL and WSL all in one night. What more could you ask for? So, free kick, number nine, back over the ball for Sweden. Holds a hand up, chips a high one into the box. It's on the head of the Swedes. Oh, is it? Oh, how did that not go in? I don't know if I'm seeing it at a funny angle there, but what a save, possibly. She's getting the congratulations, Evard, from... Well, let's have a look at this. Oh, what a save. Paul, the Swedish goalkeeper. I, I, I dare say, she, I mean, it was as good as straight at the Portuguese goalkeeper. If she'd headed it either side, we'd have been looking at 1-0. But it was a good stop, an instinctive stop by... Um, she's made seven saves at Evard for the Portugal, and uh, and that was a good one. Yeah, she deserved the congratulations of her teammate there. And now they are breaking, and it goes straight to a Swedish player. But it's a Belgian throw-in on the far side, just in the Swedish half. So, nil-nil. 73 minutes gone. It hasn't been a boring game. I, I won't say that. It hasn't been a boring game. Um, but 24 attempts now to Sweden. Two, I mean, you know, one, one attempt in each half, Belgium. Uh, I mean, you know, if you, if, you, if you enjoy football, you want Sweden to go through because they are the better football inside. Um I probably am, Charlotte. I probably am. I am behind you, so don't break wind. So Sweden are coming away. Uh, goes out to the far side, touchline. A ball along the touchline to, from one Swede to another. What, she can, what can she do with this? Gets it past three Belgian defenders. They're lining up. They're lining up, but they can't. Make the mo most of it. The Belgians have got the numbers back and the Belgians clear their lines. And they're breaking away now, Belgium. Number 13. No, she telegraphed. Oh, no, it has got. It was swapped by the speed, but she couldn't stop it getting to the Belgian player. She's coming into the box now. Is this the moment for Belgium? No, it's not the moment for Belgium. She kicked it straight towards a uh, Swedish player. But they've come back out and back in again for Belgium. And my... I don't know what's happened. I just my screen just flashed. Then headed out by the Swedes. I think I either jumped forward or back. It was a long kick upfield by the Swedish player, and it was never going to get to the uh, to the single striker there. Um, and we remain nil nil. How dare you break wind before me? I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know it was your turn. <laughs> Indeed. Watch us on YouTube. Listen on your favorite podcast platform. Or ask your smart speaker to play the podcast Lester Till I Die. Subscribe, like, follow, and join in now. Nick Nack, no, you didn't miss a thing. It's still nil-nil. Christian, uh, can Sweden win in the 90 minutes or should I cash out on my bet? I don't know what your bet is, um, but to be honest with you, they should. Oh, it's another, another attempted cross which went straight to a Belgian player to go out for a corner. Um, Sweden should. I mean, that's a 25 shots to Sweden, Christian. They should have more than eight on target and they should have a goal. Uh, Belgium, I tell you what, I've got a better chance of scoring tonight probably than they have. Um, so number five should take it here. Welcome along anyway, Christian. I don't think I've seen you before, so thanks if you, if you give us a subscribe, mate. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, it's a header in from Sweden. And it, oh, 
she had it, she shot, did the Swedish strike, and she just shot it at the ground. So instead of meeting it when it's up here and then just sort of, you know, meeting it with the foot, she chucked it straight down into the ground. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> I just... Am I feeling a bit exasperated here? Am I? Because... I feel it. I feel it. Um... Belgium seems to be defending area balls fairly comfortably, says Nick Knack. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte, our cook is a bit thick at the end of a nil-nil game. She asked what was the score at half time. <laughs> oh, bless her. Uh, never cash out, Christian. Have faith. Yeah. And of course, as we always say, um, if you are if you are betting on any of the games at all, uh, when the fun stops to stop. So, not sure what's going on here. The game's just taken a stop. Uh, 77 minutes, 77 minutes, 30 seconds gone. Referee's having a talking to. It looks like it's a free kick to Sweden. Or it's a throw in to Sweden. Sweden got a throw in with number five. Nilen, number five there. And she throws it straight to a Swede who's got two players on her in the corner. And does absolutely nothing. And then my television decides to show me that bit again. So much for fire sticks, eh? Belgium's are claiming a push, but the throwing goes to Sweden. And she throws it straight to a Belgian player. The decision-making in these Euros for most of the teams has been absolutely rubbish. Absolutely. I mean, why throw the ball to a player that's got two players marking her? How the Belgian throw, and guess what? It goes straight up with Sweden. Who has a shot straight at the Belgian person? I mean, again, you know, as a player, I'm sat and the microphone's another player, and I keep the ball at the player. Where does that come from? You know, uh, I'm sorry, the decision making of, the, uh, of some of the women players leaves a lot to be desired. I just I have a shot and just shoot it straight at the player. And it's ridiculous. Uh, a high ball in, but again, Sweden don't make the most of it. And it's now out. Sweden still got the ball, but nearly back at the halfway line. Chipped in and chips it straight at a Belgian player. If this is the number two team in FIFA's ranking, they don't deserve to be. I'm just headed wide again. I'm going to say this now. Sweden, you do not, you do not deserve to be number two in the world on this performance. Because you're making it means that like teams that are below you, like France and England, who have performed better than you at these games, it, it's saying are worse than you, and they're not. You know, I mean, I did say, or I mean, 10, 10 well, it says 30, 30 attempts, thirty attempts to Sweden, two to Belgium, and I mean, the question is, all right, I mean, that's a hell of a lot of uh, attempts, but how many of those have been on target? You know, eight of them. I mean, what the hell are they playing at? I, I'm just, I am. Sweden have been such a disappointment. And they don't, they don't, I say how they are number two in the world. Please, somebody explain to me. Somebody explain. Yeah, exactly, Nick Knack. Totally, 100%. As I was just saying, in those 30 attempts, not many have really threatened. No, they haven't. To have 30 attempts, let's just, let's just see what I can get up here. To have 30 attempts, and they have a look what they're calling big chances on that. Two big chances. Belgium come away now with the number 13. She tries a shot from absolutely no way is that going to go in. 
I've got more chance of scoring in a brothel than that. From that distance, again, a really bad decision by the number 13. Um, I think I think I think the, the photographer or the steward behind the goal was more worried than the uh, the Swedish goalkeeper with that one. Um Um, imagine if Belgium still a victory here. Yes, and I'll tell you something, I've, a little bit of me wishes they would, because Sweden would get what they deserved. Um, Belgium have defended stoutly in the box. They've done yet. I, I wouldn't say it's nice defending a lot of it. It's last minute, um, but their goalkeeper's done well. You know, she's, she must have made at least 10 saves, I think. Uh, and that was a good one. They're just showing again now uh, from point blank range. Um, yeah, Sweden Sweden will be kicking themselves, definitely. But like I say, Belgium really do need to do something. They're having a, they're having a bit of a drinks break while uh, I think the Swedish player gets a bit of uh, attention. Um, uh, Swedes are, are taking the chance to have a drink as well. Trying to get a bit of uh, a bit. Oh no, it was a Belgian player that was getting a bit of uh, a bit of um, attention. Sweden are making a substitution. Number twenty is coming on. Number sixteen is coming off. So the top scorer for Sweden. Is coming off. Seriously. Number 20, Benison has come on. And I hope I hope this uh, this number 20 that's come on has got her eye in more than the uh, the number 16 did. I mean <sighs> it's a bold decision, and let's say let's just be honest here. The bold decision was taken by England against Austria. Um, sorry, England against Spain. Again, oh, I mean, come on, Belgium. For God's sake, get yourself a brain. You know, you, you, you're taking a short goal kick. What do you do? You give it away. And it goes out for a Swedish corner. So your goal kick ends up with a Swedish corner in line with the penalty box. And a shot there from the Swede that, that is just was never going roll, roll though. You might as well call it roll on the floor laughing. Drop an O and move the F and the L about. It's it's absolutely pathetic, some of the attempts at this. It's absolutely pathetic. Yeah, I get your point, Nick Knack, although we're not playing until um, next Wednesday, so... Uh, I think it is next Wednesday. Um, no, next Tuesday we're playing. To be honest with you, I think we'd, we'd give either of these teams a run for the money. If you're having if you're having thirty odd chances, right, and you, you're only getting maybe eight or so on target at this level, it's, it's rubbish. Sweden are coming away now. Three Belgians around the Swiss, uh, Swedish um, Swedish striker. She doesn't know what to do. Um, no, totally, yeah, totally right there, Nick Nat. Totally right. Um, Sweden are coming away again. Let's face it, be honest with you. Just left. Do you know what, Swedish attacker? Let's have a look. There's a Swedish player to your left. That's put a hand up, call, calling for the ball. So why don't you play it into the space where there's no player at all? How the I can't believe that this is the second best team in the FIFA World Ranking at the moment. I really, really can't. Uh. 
And we play it back. The Swede plays it back to her goalkeeper. Who plays it back out on the other side, on the far side, to a Swedish defender. Um, I'm sorry, but this... Can they do something this time? They can get a corner. It's a corner, which probably means it won't be a goal. Um, no, they don't tell the whole story. Um, Nick Knack, you are quite right. Um, and Charlotte, bring on some elephant subs. <laughs> That'd be more exciting than we might see a goal. So it's a corner to Sweden. Can they make this pressure count? All these chances they've had. It's a header. Guess what? It went it went over the bar. Twelve corners Sweden have had. Uh, Belgium are making another substitution. We're literally coming up to the 88th minute. Um it's got extra time written all over it. It's got penalties written all over it, to be honest with you. Because if it's penalties, then it's anybody's game. 23 on for Belgium. 20 off for uh, for Belgium. She's clapping everybody there. Can't be bothered to work away to the end and waves to the last one. Um, yeah, could come down to fitness levels. Um but at this level, you would hope that they were both fit. You know, that they should be. Anyway, Belgian number 13. Lovely ball down to another Belgian number seven. It reckon it, oh, to be fair, that was a really good move by Belgium. Number 13 down the side to number seven. Crossed it back in. Number 13 couldn't quite get on the end. That was unlucky. That was unlucky from Belgium. So it's a kick out from the Swedish goalkeeper, headed on by a Swedish defender straight to Belgium, who lose it by kicking it straight at a Swedish player. And, and it's weird. I can't really describe. I'm not disappointed in the game. It's been a good game. It's been an exciting game. But I'm frustrated, frustrated with the teams, I think. Because you've got one team that has had that many shots, but they come to the barn door from two foot away. And the other team that they're just are scared to shoot. They just don't can't get the ball up to shoot. So that's the frustrating. It as a nil-nil, it's very very it's it's not boring. It's not boring, but it's I suppose frustrating. That is the word I would use to describe it. Frustrating. Um, we're into the last minute now. I guess we've not got long to go. Um, don't know how many minutes is going to be added on here. And Belgium run the ball out of players, throw into Sweden on the near side. Three minutes added on. Three minutes for somebody to nick it. Yeah, David, you know, yeah, frustrating, definitely concerning for Sweden. They've got to be concerned. You've got this much play and this many chances, and you're not doing anything with it. You have to be concerned. You're quite right, sir. You are quite right. So, three minutes. Just remember, just remember when you're looking at this, Sweden are ranked number two in the world. Belgium are ranked number 20. Oh, Belgium cross in there, but it went straight into the uh, Swedish goalkeeper's hands. Um, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sweden, come forward. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Sweden are coming forward with the ball. Crossing into the center. I think you know what's coming from the graphic. Let's have a look. Number nine to the Swedes. Number 11 out to number nine again. Oh, how far behind am I on this now then? I'm a long way behind. I'm a long, long, long as Gary Barlow would say, a long, long way behind.
Christian, we don't uh, we don't announce the uh, announce the scores really before uh, before we before the, we watch it because when we're watching it, we are behind, so it does spoil it for everybody. So it is a rule, no announcing of the goals. And it's, yeah, I mean, it was a scramble in the net, scramble in the net. Um, do Sweden deserve it? The argument is no, that they probably don't. Um, but I think I think you've got to say because of the amount of efforts they've had, yes, they do. Um, in fairness, it's one of those heartbreak for the Belgians. But I'm sorry, the Belgians have only got themselves to blame. The Belgians never looked like they were going to win this. You know, you, I mean, let's be honest with you: a team that has three shots on goal in 93 minutes, three shots on goal, Belgium. You did, and it's all over. It is all over. They are out. Belgium are out. Sweden are through with a last-minute goal. And let's be honest, you can't say it wasn't coming. You can't say it wasn't coming. Um, harsh on Belgium. So close to extra time. Doesn't matter. The goal's gone in. Belgium got what they deserved. Um, Belgium did put up a good fight, though. Did they? Real heartbreak for Belgium. You see, you say they put up a good fight. 33 shots for Sweden. One, three shots, none of which were on target for Belgium. That wasn't a fight. <laughs> that was a blitzkrieg. It really, really was. Belgium, I'm sorry. You're going home. You won't be missed. You know, it's two games where you fluted against Italy. Um, you, you got what you deserved here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry, I know <laughs> your wife, but you, they got what they deserved. They got what they deserved. Sweden are through. Um, again, please, can I ask you if you've been watching and you haven't subbed to the channel, please do sub. It is really, really, really appreciated. Um, yeah, again, agreed, James. Agreed, Sweden should have won by a mile. Lucky, lucky Sweden. Um, that's all you can say. That is all you can say. Right, let me just get out of this. Um, and I will get rid of the facts and figures when I just do this. And there we go. Um, yep, yeah, so we <laughs> Sweden won. Uh, <laughs> Johnny Bad Luck, Belgique. Was it Bad Luck? No. No. Sweden deserved it, but they should have done it earlier. Um, she's gone speechless, but still proud that they got here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, cheers, Chris. Take care. See you all soon. Yeah, we're doing tomorrow's uh, um, game, James, if you're, uh, if you're about. If not, have a great weekend, whatever you decide to do. Um, it's a horrible way to lose it, but a team that has three shots all game at international level doesn't deserve to win. Doesn't deserve to win. Possession, it was a Brexit possession, Nick Knack, 52-48 to Sweden. Uh, and it shows having possession does not mean sweet FA. Belgium had the possession all the way through. They, they did it well. This is only towards the end that they actually went down. Don't know why they're crying, because they didn't deserve to win. I'm sorry, I'm being hard, but Belgium did not deserve to win. Sweden were lucky. I'm not going to argue with that. You know, talk about a last-minute goal, but if you play the way that Belgium played, that's what happens to you. You absolutely get it. 51% to 49 ball possession. Nine attempts on target. None, none on target for Belgium. 33, 34, whichever stat you look at. Shots on shots for Sweden. Uh, Ten of them are on target. I'm sorry. Um, Belgium, if they got through... They wouldn't have deserved it. The question is, England, they're going to be playing Sweden. It is England-Sweden now. 
But I am not worried. I am not worried. I mean, you see, Nick Nash, I, I just don't see where you're coming from with this. You can't fault their effort. What? Doing nothing for 90 minutes, 93 minutes, whatever it was. And they didn't do much. They basically defended. Well, some you can't, you know, there's the football is defending and attacking. You can't have one without the other. If, it's, if you attack all the game and no defending, you're going to lose. If you defend all the game and no attacking, you're going to lose. Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've got absolutely nothing nice to say about the Belgian performance there. They got what they deserved. Um, and it's bye-bye Belgium. Bye-bye Belgium. Not impressed with them at all. But that said, Sweden, um, should we be worried England? No, I, 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 I'm I, surprised they're number two in the world, to be honest with you, but there we go. There we go. It is what it is. It is what it is. Sweden are celebrating. They're in the semis. They're going to be facing England on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock. We will be there to cover it. Remember, this is Lester Till I Die TV. Our whole coverage is being uh, backed by uh, 3retro.com. <laughs>
for watching this videos are tremendous you better like the duo i'll be back cool i'm out of here oh that's a wrap so people are on the pitch